Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics 2 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to come to one of the absolute core uh, concepts of the entire course, and that is the famous first law of thermodynamics. Okay, It's uh, got a pretty ominous sounding name, but really when we get down to the nuts and bolts of it, it's a pretty simple equation. Basically, it's an energy balance equation. It basically says you know, that what, what you put into a system, you're, you're going to be able to track where it goes, and you're never going to get out more than what you put in. If you put heat into a system, the heat's going to go somewhere. It might move a piston. It might make the, uh, the uh, atoms in a gas you know, dance a little bit more vigorously, but the energy is going to go somewhere, and you're going to be able to transfer, uh, to track it. So it's, it's almost like a conservation of energy type of relation. So rather than talk about it, what I want to do is write it down really quickly, and then we'll go through several kind of, it's a very simple equation, but we'll have to go line by line and really look at some special cases of what happens when, when you look at the different cases, and then we'll go and work some problems. So, the first law of thermodynamics is actually not a very complicated looking equation compared to, you know, what you might think. Q is equal to work plus something called delta U. And I haven't told you what that is. So let's go ahead and, and figure it out. Very, very important that we understand the sign conventions that we've been talking about in the previous sections, and that's why I've been harping on them. Q is what you would expect. It's the heat added to, I'm going to underline to, the system. When I say a system, I want you to keep that picture of a piston in your head. I may add heat to the gas in that piston and make something happen, make the, maybe make the thing do some work. Okay. Uh, speaking of work, this is the work done by, and I'm going to underline by, the system. Okay. So this will be the work done by the piston going up. Okay. Now there's a third thing that we haven't talked about at all yet. And that's uh, something called the internal energy. Of uh, the system. And what I'm going to put in parentheses here, are kind of my own words. This is how I remember it. Atomic motion uh, of gas. All right. Ominous sounding name, first law of thermodynamics. You can see there's only three variables in this equation. How complicated could it be, right? What you're doing here, this is the way I write it. Usually in your books, uh, they solve for, for these variables a little bit differently, but this is how I remember it because it makes sense to me, and I hope that it will make sense to you. What I'm saying here is imagine this piston here. We add heat to it, so I've got a flame under it, and so the energy is going into it. It's heating up that gas. Now, you know from your experience in physics that you've got law of conservation of energy. The energy you put into the gas has to go somewhere. This relation is telling you where it goes. That energy goes into work done by the piston. That's the system in this case. So you're adding heat to the system. You're doing work. The system is doing work. Okay? And that's where some of that energy goes. Plus, it goes into raising the internal energy of the gas, basically, the atomic motion of the gas. So if you think about this for a second, if you have a cylinder and a piston, you put a flame under it, some of that energy is going to go into the piston rising, obviously. Okay, Delta U, delta anything, always means final minus initial, so it's the final value of the internal energy minus the initial value of the internal energy. Delta U is how much the gas has changed its internal energy. You can think of that as like the temperature of the gas going up. Internal energy is just a phrase used to talk about how agitated the atoms are. If you heat a gas up, the atoms are going to be moving around a whole lot more uh, vigorously. Okay, they're going to be moving around a whole lot more vigorously. So this is a really important thing to really internalize. When you add heat to a, uh, uh, heat to a system, like piston type system, let's just say, for sake of uh, visualization, okay, you're going to heat up that gas, increasing the internal energy of the gas, and also that gas will expand and push the piston, and so that will be work done by the system. That is the first law of thermodynamics. All it's saying is that energy that you put in has to go somewhere. It goes into work done by the system plus the internal energy of the gas or the working fluid that you're dealing with. If it's a refrigerator you're talking about, your working fluid might be the Freon, okay, or some sort of air, air conditioner in your car. Um, if it's a if it's a steam engine, the working fluid would be the steam. If it's a gasoline engine, the working thing 